Hello friends, now we will discuss another important topic for this year examination, International Solar Alliance. International Solar Alliance was launched jointly by the Indian Prime Minister as well as the President of France during the Conference of Parties which took place in Paris 2015. So in November 2015 the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change during its 21st Conference of Parties this International Solar Alliance was launched by the Indian Prime Minister and the President of France. Now who are the probable members of this International Solar Alliance? The countries which are in between the two tropics, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. The countries which are in between these two tropics, they are the probable members of this International Solar Alliance. Why these tropical countries have been selected? The tropical countries, around 121 countries, they have more than 300 days sunshine in a year. So they are called as sunshine countries and these 121 sunshine countries they are the probable members of the International Solar Alliance. The International Solar Alliance was open for signature in the Marrakesh conference in the Marrakesh in Morocco the conference of parties to UNFCCC in its 22nd conference this International Solar Alliance agreement was opened up for signature. 25 nations have signed this International Solar Alliance Agreement. For this International Solar Alliance Agreement to become a legal entity, 25 countries will have to ratify it. Only after ratification by 25 countries, the International Solar Alliance Agreement will become a legal entity. This International Solar Alliance will be headquartered in India in this place, Gwal. Pahari in Gurgaon in Haryana. So Gurgaon Haryana is going to headquarter the International Solar Alliance. Now what India has contributed for this International Solar Alliance? India has earmarked 15 million American dollar towards the International Solar Alliance Corpus Fund. So 15 million American dollar India is contributing for this International Solar Alliance Corpus Fund and five acres of land we have given for the construction of this ISA headquarters in this National Institute of Solar Energy. Now where is the National Institute of Solar Energy? As we have said earlier it is in Gurgaon. So International Solar Alliance headquarters will be located in National Institute of Solar Energy in Gurgaon. International Solar Alliance is having an agreement with UNDP and the World Bank. UNDP and World Bank, they would be offering their support to this International Solar Alliance. What World Bank has committed to contribute to this International Solar Alliance? As it was decided in the Conference of Parties in Paris in 2015, 1000 billion American dollar will have to be mobilized by 2030. So this can be done with the support of World Bank. World Bank also promised India 1 billion American dollar towards the development of solar energy. So World Bank and International Solar Alliance has agreed to muster 1000 billion American dollar for making this ISA a successful endeavor. Now some facts you need to know from the examination point of view. Where is world's largest solar power plant to be coming into being? The world's largest solar power plant will be constructed in Kamuti, a place in Ramnad in Tamil Nadu. So Ramnad district 
Kamudi is the place where the world's largest solar power plant is going to come. Is going to come in Cochin in, you know, it is in Kerala. Now, we will look at the solar power statistics. 70 percentage of the solar power, installed solar power is coming from the developed nations. You can see this, Germany, China, Japan, US and Italy, they are accounting for 70 percentage of the 227 gigawatt of solar power deployed globally. What about the developing nations? Developing nations are having enough potentials to tap solar power, but they are stuck up with what? Low technological options. Say though they have uh, the resource, but the problem is they do not have the adequate appropriate technology to tap this solar power. Come to India. 90 percentage of India's solar panels are imported and mostly they are imported from China. So we are more dependent on the Chinese manufactured solar power. You look at the potential of Indian solar market. India is offering fourth largest solar market globally and India is going to add more than 5 gigawatt of solar capacity in 2016. We have a very ambitious solar power uh, program, national solar power program which was launched in 2010. The target which was kept in 2010 was we would generate 20,000 megawatt of solar power by 2022 and this target was revised to make 100 gigawatts of solar power by 2022. So, which was initially targeting 20,000 megawatt. Today, the National Solar Power Program is targeting 100 gigawatt of solar power. And for that, India needs so much of money. India needs to import close to 42 billion dollar of solar equipment by 2030. Now let us have an examination of the non-conventional energy basket of India. Look at this image. Maximum non-conventional energy comes from wind. 57 percentage of non-conventional energy generated comes from wind. And the next is solar. Solar accounts for 19 percentage of the non-conventional energy of India. 16 percentage of the non-conventional energy basket comes from biopower. 8 percentage comes from small hydropower. So this is what the energy portfolio, non-conventional energy portfolio of India. Now look at the installed capacity in terms of the megawatts. Wind power around 229,000, around 29,151 megawatt. Solar power around 9,566 megawatt. Bio power around 8,182 megawatt. And small hydro power around 4,346 megawatt. And waste power is meager, very, very meager, 114 megawatt. Now look at this. What are the targets which we have kept for the year 2016-17 and how much we have fulfilled the target. A close look at of this uh, tabulation will tell you how much we are lagging in the achievement of our year marked target. Look at this. Wind power we should have achieved 4000 megawatt but what we have achieved is just 2373 megawatt. Solar power we should have achieved 12,000 megawatt and we have achieved only 2,800 megawatt. Bio power we should have achieved 400 but we have achieved only 157. Small hydro power we should have achieved 250, we have achieved only 73. Waste power we should have achieved 10 megawatt, we have achieved only 7.5 megawatt. So the target which was kept for 2016-17 was 16,660 megawatt of all the non-conventional energy sources but what we have achieved in this target year from April to 
February 2017 from April 2016 to February 2017 is just 5,415 megawatts.